A culture of innovation is alive and well at UDOT, and we want to hear about what you and your team is doing to save time, money, and help make your work better. The problem we have is our roads are getting wider, so it's a longer distance for pedestrians to cross the street. So we want to design a bulb out where it shortens that distance between the different sides of the street. The bulb outs create a problem for maintenance. When they plow the road, all of a sudden there's this obstacle in their way. Uh, we have a lot of problems where things aren't exactly maintenance friendly or don't work well with our equipment or either plowing snow or sweeping or anything like that. So we're developing a set of standards that will work with maintenance and their snow plows so that we can provide that shorter distance for the pedestrians to cross while not interfering with maintenance's ability to snow plow and sweep and clear the roads like they have to. Today we set up some concrete barrier to kind of represent the taper of what would be in advance of these bulb outs. And we ran the, the snow plows at different speeds with different tapers to see what is possible for them to do to accurately manage that maneuver and remove the snow in a comfortable way that we can have our inexperienced drivers and our experienced drivers still make that maneuver and Robert Miles reached out and wanted us to be a part of this and, and to communicate and I guess build some bridges to figure out what's a better way we can do things and so we did that in our yard today. And this is a collaborative effort that we've been working with traffic and safety, active transportation, maintenance and design, come up with a standard that works for everybody and accomplishes our goal and solves that problem of the long crossing distance. We were trying to explain the different speeds and, and whether with a head plow we'd be going slower and with a wing we'd be going faster. And we were teaching them how a wing throws snow versus a head plow throw, throws snow and um, where, the, where the snow was traveling at certain speeds. Ran through it and, and, and moved it at uh, different angles and, and tried to do the math on it and tried to figure out what was the best way and what's the best approach. And so when we build these type of things, um, they're made with maintenance in mind. So this was very eye-opening uh, to see how talented these drivers are. I thought we'd have to have a lot flatter taper rate than we were able to achieve. Um, I would say to the maintenance folks, uh, don't be afraid to reach out. Talk to your engineers, uh, get involved early in the project. Um, don't be afraid to use your voice. Any advice would be talk to everybody. Everybody's got uh, experience that's beneficial. Everybody has some input that will help obtain the best solution. Um, I like to remind people that we are all UDOT. We're not maintenance, we're not structures, we're not design. We are all UDOT we need to work together so that we can come up with the best solution for everybody and everybody benefits. Um, and I think you, that's what UDOT's all about, uh, uh, using all their people to make uh, a better roadway and uh, better traveling and, and safety for the traveling public. Finding new and better ways to get things done is what the UDOT Innovation Program is all about. If you would like to learn more about innovative ideas, please visit the Ideas Portal, which is a part of the UDOT Learning Portal. You can find ideas submitted by others, and you could submit your own. You can also contact any member of the UDOT Innovation Council for assistance. Thanks for innovating, and thanks for helping to keep Utah moving. <laughs>